In this video, we'll be looking at vertical stretching and shrinking given by the generic equation y equals a times f of x. Now we know f of x is the same as y, so we're multiplying some number a times y. If a is greater than 1, the graph is stretched vertically, so our graph will be stretched up and down. If a is less than 1, the graph is compressed vertically or it shrinks, so we'll be bringing it down. The first example that we'll be looking at is to graph g of x is equal to 2x squared. Now we know that our basic graph is the function y equal x squared and I've shown that graph here, and I've shown those points over here. Now we said that we'll be multiplying y by the coefficient a, so we'll multiply y by 2 in this case. So we'll be taking our y value on each of our basic graph points and multiplying by 2. So our g of x graph will have the point negative 2, 8, negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 4. So let's plot these points and see what our g of x equal 2x squared graph looks like. Negative 2, 8 is here. Negative 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, and 2, 4. Oh, 2, 8, sorry. 2, 8. So our g of x graph is shown in red. On this one, we're asked to graph h of x equal 1 fourth x squared. Again, our basic graph is y equal x squared, and I've shown the graph with the dotted line, and some of the points on that graph are shown here. Now, we'll be multiplying y. Remember, f of x is the same as y. So we'll be multiplying y by 1 fourth. So we have the point negative 3, 9 fourths, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 1 fourth, 0, 0, 1, 1 fourth, 2, 1, and 3, 9 fourths. And let's plot these points. 9 fourths is the same as 2 and 1 fourth. So negative 3, 2, and a fourth. Negative 2, 1. Negative 1, 1 fourth, 0, 0, 1, 1 fourth, 2, 1, and 3, 2 and a fourth. So the basic graph now is compressed or shrunk to look like this.